Hello everyone and welcome back to another Helix Plays Games live stream right here on YouTube.com and of course you're joining myself CyberChris2077 on my own they've left me stranded on the moon to play some amazing cloud games with you fantastic folks out there in the community shout out to the chat everybody who's here already Lee, Sedna, Eric, Barry uh, and Don all thank you for joining me of course I'm here back from my paternity leave to jump into some exciting new gaming of course like Last Wednesday, Amazon Luna stealth dropped here in the UK, Germany and Canada. A worldwide rollout beyond the usual uh, USA lockdown that they were in previously. And uh, I ordered myself, of course, a gorgeous Luna controller. Uh, there is a first look up on the channel already. But I'm here to play some games. And I've dabbled a little bit in Luna so far. I've checked it out on my phone with using the Razer Kishi and my Samsung Galaxy Ultra. I've tested out a little bit on the desktop, not played too much though because I wanted to save it for you and of course play some games with you guys out there as well. Uh, in lead in the chat, shout out to you as well. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. I felt a bit nervous before we start today. I haven't done a stream in two, three weeks while I've been off with my new first newborn child, so getting into the swing of things uh, so do let me know if the sounds okay you can hear everything fine um, there was a little bit of a tease intro at the beginning there didn't intend for that to play but here we are so uh, let's get into it some amazon luna uh, i'm here controllers rigged up via bluetooth you can hardwire them in i believe uh, let's have a quick look folks in the chat you're with me you're here to guide me through this of course this is a brand new cloud gaming experience for many people outside of the us and we're all probably familiar with some various forms of cloud gaming platforms platforms and some that don't even exist anymore geforce now of course google stadia here on the channel we spent uh, three and a half years covering google stadia weekly podcast you might have heard of it the sounds of stadia podcast r.i.p but tonight i'm here to check out luna so amazon luna before we do get into it, I do want to tease some exciting news for the channel while I've got you all watching. Uh, Don in the chat, I love it. Can't hear Richie, tell him to turn his mic up. Yes, uh, of course. My co-host Richie and Rob taking a break. Uh, Richie may be back tomorrow with some Elden Ring action, so stay tuned and keep it locked for that one. And of course, like, subscribe and ring that bell. But before we got into all the Luna action today, I did want to tease you fine folks, something we've been working on for quite some time here on the channel. And when I say quite some time, I mean probably well over a year now. Of course, I'm on Luna rolled out in the United States uh, quite a while back now and it's finally reached UK shores and here on the channel we do multiple shows we have done as I mentioned the Sounds of Stadia podcast 160 episodes we did of that we had Cloud Quest going which was one, over 100 episodes of a cloud gaming topical show every week we rounded up that kind of news and of course right now we have X-Pass our Xbox show goes live every Monday and of course on a Tuesday we have Talking the PS where we round up all the PlayStation news so with the further rollout of Amazon Luna we do we don't want to commit to anything beyond like a weekly thing, but we have been working on something for quite some time. So myself, Richie and Rob uh, will be getting together with a pilot episode of our brand new show. And I'm here to introduce it now. So I'll roll the video and I'll introduce you to... That's right, everyone. The Lunar Listening Podcast, where myself, Chris, Richie, and Rob will be rounding up all things going on in the world of Amazon Luna. We don't have a cadence for how regular the episodes will be yet. We're working on a pilot as it goes, but we've had that video in... <laughs> we had it designed and uh, ordered and put together many many moons ago uh, but now amazon luna has launched in the uk we thought of course we're going to cover it on the channel of course we're going to talk about it that's that is our bread and butter that's what we started off with so yes everybody the luna listening podcast will be available in the coming days slash weeks depending on when we get around to it of course i'm a new father richie and rob we've got other podcasts and shows but thank you for your continued support that wouldn't happen that show that amazing intro designed by fantastic artists who we worked with on all of our intros now would not have happened without your love and support so thank you very much to everyone who's tuned in already for this one check out the lunar listening podcast soon and of course like subscribe and ring that bell so you're kept in the loop when it goes live but without further delay let's get into some actual gaming folks because that's what we're here for that's what i'm here for tonight of course uh, multiple games i'm currently on the seven day free trial 
with Amazon Luna Plus, which is their own subscription channel for multiple games. You get a mixed variety of bag of things. I do have Amazon Prime, so therefore I get the Prime Gaming uh, rotational selection of titles too. And I also, I didn't have Ubisoft Plus, but I do get the Ubisoft games that ironically I purchased on Google Stadia. So you can see Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 5 on there. I own them on Stadia, and thanks to the support Ubisoft have given to cloud gaming over the last several years, they've continued across. So I want to dabble tonight in a multiple few things. Uh, as you can see down the side, it's a little bit hidden by my face, but you've got the home screen. We've got the library of games. If I click into that, we get kind of a wider array of titles. Um, one thing I will say, very, very kind of quality of life things here is a search bar at the top i can search by genre filter from game type my content i can sort by really really appreciate having that option to look at my library and see what games are available uh, we do have the option of making playlists so if there's any particular games we all have it we're all gamers out there we all have that wonderful amazing back catalog uh, why not just visualize your back catalog in a painful list of titles you're not able to play and get around to uh, and then further down we have the search bar which of course yes if you want to search for a particular type you can do so through the search bar there we go resident evil 3 resident evil 2 beyond good and evil not to be confused with the sequel that ubisoft are struggling to get out and devil may cry 5 so you've got a nice little uh, search there obviously not just by word it apparently just brings in other things that are of a similar genre uh, we do have luna couch which is one of the unique features exclusive to amazon luna it gives you a unique code you can share it with your friend and via a web browser uh, without even being subscribed to any form of amazon luna um, they can literally click a link use the code and join you as though they were sat side by side on the couch so if we were to do some good old-fashioned side by side couch co-op multiplayer i could just share the link with you find folks in the chat and you can jump into the game which is my intention for some point in this stream uh, we do have broadcast mode down there on the left as well which is you can stream to twitch uh, automatically and then the settings as well where you adapt your controller and your frame rate and everything like that uh, shout out again to everyone in the chat awesome people there uh, let's dive into some games though so where to start where to start i was kind of wanted to jump into assassin's creed valhalla uh, to start with just for my own benefit just to see kind of how it runs how it compares i've got a lot of hours in this game so i thought i'll jump into it uh, just notice that metacritic score at the top do appreciate having the metacritic score uh, highlighted there if you're unsure about a game what better way to get a, an overarching review than have it front and center action adventure rpg single player play now add it to my playlist i can share that with other people i do own this game that's good to know it's linked to my account we've got some trailers screenshots description of the game all listed down here and other things I might like, such as Origins and the like. So let's boot it up, see how it compares, what it looks like, what the uh, experience is. Uh, thank you, Crazy Bad. Welcome back. Uh, I will point out as well, not back for the podcast just yet. I'm still figuring out my weekends and how childcare works on weekends and such. So uh, I'm not back at work yet. That's going to be a whole different thing. Any parents out there will know, yeah, juggling, newborn child, first child. And uh, gaming is an important thing. I've been trying to chip away as much as I can in Hogwarts Legacy at the moment. But it's finding that niche time so hopefully uh, amazon luna is going to boot up nice and quick of course the benefit of cloud gaming no downloads no patch installs nothing like that you click a link you boot up a game and bang we're playing the latest version nice and quick hopefully without any stress on my hardware my pc over here I do hope it gets a bit bigger it's going to go full screen at some point but uh, we'll see uh, anyone in the chat have you checked out Amazon Luna yourself yet of course it's fortunately it's not available in every country it's not a full worldwide rollout but I know a lot of our audience are UK based uh, some friends over there in Canada uh, the good old folks over in the United States have had it for many many moons making us all jealous over here in the UK uh, and of course Germany as well Deutschland so hopefully das is good for you as well uh, but yeah I'm excited how many hours did I put into Assassin's Creed Valhalla I got the platinum on PS5 so I put enough in to finish the campaign and a lot of mop up as well. Uh, Eric in the chat says, I live in the States, so I checked it out last year. Um, I didn't like the subscription channel aspect. Yeah, you're completely right, Eric. That's kind of been the, the big trait for a lot of people is it's it's very reminiscent of a cable TV service where you kind of sign up to Luna and you have to pick a, a cable package, essentially, of games that you would like to test out. And the, the overarching, I guess, un issue with that is you don't 
own the game quote unquote it's just part of a subscription kind of like netflix if you unsubscribe you therefore lose all of your games so you're almost beholden to being subscribed to something at any given time uh, i know that's a big bug uh, with richie one of my co-hosts here on the channel uh, that he could never quite get around although there are rumors that amazon are going to let up on that a little bit they're going to uh, potentially look at individually purchasing things give you that a la carte option um same with microsoft with xbox cloud gaming they currently everything runs through game pass uh, but they are also working on it the phil spencer came out and said that uh, if you purchase any games individually they will be cloud streamable as well so i'm holding out for something like fifa for example i like to play every every year and i put so many hours on fifa on google stadia using my phone and a razor kishi and now i don't have that option so if i want to play fifa i have to be stuck to the tv with my ps5 or xbox and it's it, it is limiting and it is frustrating after having the cloud gaming world as well so crazy uh, lee ellis checked out using your stadia controller no surprise there lee uh, i hold my hand up first thing for me too i checked out google stadia using uh, google stadia amazon luna using my stadia controller the irony i know i know uh, and it worked well so let's see where in the world i've got my mouse do i have my mouse new controller has been connected it's good to know there we go and of course that's always the crazy thing that blew my mind uh, first checking out cloud gaming is i'm using my mouse to wiggle around but then as soon as i move that stick it switches to controller settings and the the n keys that you're familiar with i see the load times now assassin's creed valhalla even on playstation 5 and series x has that quite a lengthy load time for this particular menu i do like this load screen though it's very good in the dead of winter when I, I believe the game came out in november two years ago and in my setup at home i actually have a fireplace under the tv and the flames coming up from the real fireplace onto the tv that's built into the wall above the fireplace was just the, the perfect combination of visuals and keeping me toasty and warm in those winter months And this is where we wait. We wait, boys and girls, to see what's happening. Monster Hunter World Pack. There we go. Of course, Valhalla, one of the most supported games Ubisoft have ever done. DLC out the wazoo. What have we got? Mirage trailer. Let's just check out that little bit of latency there. With everyone's favorite thing, which is the floating cursor in uh, video games. We couldn't just have snappy menus. Let's see. Ravensthorpe. 128 hours who is a new parent i don't think i'm going to see 128 free hours in the entire of 2023 let's boot it up see how quick it gets us into the game here then of course ubisoft plus one of the subscription channels here uh, on amazon luna if you want to opt in for ubisoft plus you get an entire catalog of ubisoft games uh, always get the gold version so you get all the dlc all the season pass content all the bells and whistle perks that you would get with paying top dollar for the top package you just get included so if you want to check a game out rainbow six siege assassin's creed far cry anything like that you don't need to subscribe to an amazon luna package you can just subscribe to ubisoft plus link your accounts and all the games will show up in there so here we go then let's see again familiar with playing this on playstation 5 so i'm kind of looking for the differences uh, as m i'd like to think more single player people i don't know about you guys out there um whenever i save a game or i'm wrapping up for the night i always return back to like a, a common familiar save point so with assassin's creed if i'm not going to play the game for who knows how long i'll wait in the home base i'll always fast travel back to the home base save it there so i'm in a familiar territory so if i come back to the game many many days weeks months detached i'm in a familiar area is that crazy or is that just me uh now can i even remember anything now this is of course ravensthorpe your kind of hub base in the world and i can't remember what missions i've got so let's see uh see what's going on i know there's been a lot of free content added to valhalla over the years i'm of course rocking the uh, end game armor there looks pretty pretty sick if i'm honest looks pretty damn cool uh loads of freebies have no doubt been added okay what capes have i got i've been given a berserker hood twilight hood and this is another thing i always do in single player games is any of these little asterisks uh sorry exclamation marks i have to clear them off i have to i don't know do you guys do this out there if you've got them in the menus you have to go in and just like hover over them for that split second because having them on the screen just really, really gets to me. 
and there's a rabid mask. Of course, there's a rab rabid bobblehead mask added to the game. I'm not going to do it here. I'm not going to do it here for the sake for the sake of you guys on stream. Uh, but let's get to quests and see if there's anything new being added. Now, I haven't played this in so, so long, so I'm not too sure how crazy I'm going to be. Restless Dreams. Eivor is in trouble by new visions of Odin and a conflict in Svartalheim. Rest under the tree. That seems like a DLC one. Where is the tree to see this vision? Is it anywhere nearby? Rest under the tree. Oh, there it is on my map. How far away? 170 meters. There we go. It's so weird when you've not played a game for so long, getting back to it. And just remembering, like, what's what. So, quality-wise, game looks great. I'm just playing it on my uh, Samsung PC monitor here. 1080p HD, so nothing, nothing 4K crazy. Obviously, you guys are watching it through a compressed stream as well, so the quality will be a little bit uh, dipped. One of the things you probably notice on stream is if we go into any uh, dark screens, the, the blacks usually look a bit fragmented via cloud gaming. It's something about, similar to if you watch kind of, if anyone watched The Last of Us uh, on stream, any scenes in the dark, uh, and if the stream quality is not top notch, you get that breaking up of the, of the colors. Wait, what was that? Investigate the crash site. So that just literally happened right in front of me. Interact. Of course, Lunar Controller using the Xbox layout. So we've got the A, B, X, Y, Lunar button in the middle for power the thing up. We've got a button there to jump into your Amazon Lunar commands, voice control, the burger menu, the action button, which is the circle on there, directional D-pad and offset sticks, just like the Xbox controller. I do like this controller. I'm a really big fan of the, the color of it. I like the little dimple texture on the back. And uh, my only downside I would say about it is, similar to my um, my gripe with the Xbox one, is the AA batteries. We're living in 2023 and I'm still buying the same AA batteries I used to put in my toys as a kid, um, which I know they have their advantages. You get rechargeable batteries, you can get the booster packs, but there is something to be said about just plugging your controller in and charging it. And I know when the battery degrades, it sucks because your controller's kind of defunct. I have to take it apart and retro fix it, but... Just like my mobile phone, I just like having a complete solid unit that's just one piece that I just USB-C charge it, connect it, it's good to go, it's good to go. Uh, again, chat, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've had your hands some time on with the Amazon Luna controller, um, do you like it? I like the triggers, I like the triggers, nice and soft. They don't have that tappy tap tap that some of them do. Bumpers are nice and smooth, and yeah, it's a really good controller. What are we seeing here? Am I skipping something or am I reading it? The dream of yours, Balder, do not fret. How can it be a vision of death when you are immune to death? Oh, little glitch there. As for Ragnarok, it lurks far in the future, and when it comes, you have my pledge. I will safeguard you and all those we love. Ragnarok is not for us, it is for everyone else. Odin speaking to Balder not so long ago. Not so long ago. Very specific time there. So what's everyone's thoughts on the uh, quality so far? Are you guys are watching along at home. Does it does it look good? Does it look playable? We are nearly there. Frig. Peace, fridge. Fridge. It was so good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Suter has our son. Fair Balder fallen to treachery. She has about three hairstyles going on in one one go there. Suter will pay a heavy price for it. We do not serve our cause by reckless haste. Tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose. That's the one thing that always gets me about Norse mythology, the amount of varied names that each individual has. Frigg, Frigga. You were only too keen to send him to Frida. And Freyas, when the call of adventure became Freya. Uh, Sedna says the stream seems pretty solid, good to know. And Lee, not sure you bother getting one as you have around eight controllers. Totally understand that, Lee. Um, they have been in the United States going on sale uh, in like the Amazon Prime Day and special like Black uh, Friday, Cyber Monday. So I'd say if you've got one iron one and if you're in no rush, then 
keep an eye out for that. Of course, Amazon, they'll get it to you the next day if you've got Prime. Right, I have no remembrance of what the attacks were. I think it's Heavy Attack, R2, Light Attack. Um, I've got my bow. Okay, so I've got basic third-person stuff down, so... Block? No, that's not Block. What was Block? Maybe I won't even need Block. Uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't finished Valhalla nearly two years after the game's release. Um, but my two weapons I'm wielding, pausing for spoilers, I'm wielding Mjolnir and Excalibur. That's right, I have the sword Excalibur and I have the hammer of the gods Mjolnir. So I'm pretty uh, pretty powerful right now. Yeah, let's not waste any time on the dead. I don't even know where I'm at. Am I still in? Am I still in merry old England here, or am I in Asgard? Asgard. He sought to prevent this war. Was that not a worthy goal? As for Asgard. So they're still talking about Ragnarok and the, the downfall. We needed to rebuild. NTP in the chat says, looks okay. When I tried Luna, it was like running around on ice. I had no control of gunplay in Division Two. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm again, I'm keen on this stream to. Have a kind of dabble around in a couple of things. Uh, I've got many, many hours into the division as well. Have the platinum trophy in the original game for that, so understand how that feels on the sticks. So yeah, hopefully that won't be uh, the case for everyone. Because again, the great thing with cloud gaming, and, and for me, Richie and Rob here on the channel, is we've we've been cloud gamers now for nearly four years. And Google Stadia ran wow, fantastically for the majority of the time. Put this land to flame and sword. Boulder. I'm guessing I'm not in England anymore. Bitchin by the crazy floating yeah, avatar island over there. You feel it. The bond of mother and child. Something you will Right, what are we doing, Freak? What are we doing? Where are we going? Where's she gone? Oh, she's over there. Now, of course, the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC is out for this game. Included if you have Ubisoft Plus. I wonder how that works. Chat, if, if anybody knows, I have, of course, I bought this game on Google Stadia. Ubisoft gave me the game uh, on Luna for free, evidently. Did I get the Ragnarok DLC for free as well, instead of paying 30-odd pound for it? Because this seems like a Ragnarok storyline. Inside the house. He has been here. It is... <laughs> the voice change. Uh, Cube Apple how, asks, how's Luna running? Um, no problem so far. Loaded up um, pretty fine. I'm just trying to catch up on some Valhalla missions here. No I, no real idea what I'm doing, just to get a feel for it. To give you an idea of, I guess, control. She's in a hurry, but I'm not necessarily. So if you think there's the trigger button there. That's one. R2. So latency seems minimum. I'm not having any real drop off when I'm running around. Not noticing any major frames drop. Uh, as with all cloud gaming, there's always those little glitches. We say sometimes with Xbox cloud gaming, there's almost like a refresh that comes down the screen. You see like a trace scan line. I see no sign of Balder. Uh, but yeah, runs great so far. Uh, Hungry Moogle, shout out to you. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. If this instinct is true, let us follow it further. I love how the voice changes when you go in and out of a building. Where are you, my son? If they have harmed a hair on your head. So Frigg's not happy that her son's gone. What's this? Some kind of crazy flower. So yeah, if, if uh, as you say, Cube Apple, if I've got updated to the gold edition, that's awesome. That means I've got a good reason to jump into Valhalla when I finally finish Hogwarts Legacy and hopefully before... Uh, Jedi Survivor comes out, and of course, uh, I've now got this itch to play through Resident Evil 2 and 3, and then 4, because you've got 2 and 3 as part of Amazon Plus, Amazon Luna Plus subscriptions package. Uh, there are other ones I've not really mentioned yet, but there's a, there was a retro channel, which I believe had retro games, but now that's been folded into Luna Plus, if memory serves. But... All that kind of information will be rounded up on our brand new Lunar Podcast, the Lunar Listening Podcast, when that goes live on the channel. So for those who are joining the stream late, I made the announcement. Richie mentioned it on this week's podcast as well. Lunar Listening will be uh, live in the coming weeks. So check that out on Helix Plays Games. 
Uh, super chat from Hungry Moogle. Awesome, thank you. Here's to start off Chris's diaper fund. I appreciate the $2.20 um, super chat there. Hungry Moogle, the diapers are hopefully are not for me. I, as a 33-year-old man, I don't wear diapers. I just want to clarify that. But, yes, I'll, uh, I'll put them towards some nappies. Thank you very much. I might even get Richie some. Right, what are we doing? Find out what happened to Boulder. Investigate the area. Right. Do we still do our scan? No, that's photo mode. Get out photo mode. You had a scan mode on this game, right? It's crazy how much you forget in games after not playing them for so long. Hold it in. Yeah, there it is. Right. Let's do some investigation. Something by the stairs. Cube Apple. Wow, big news. Is Luna listing cast going to be weekly or every couple of weeks? Uh, so that's a cadence we've not figured out yet. So with Luna just slowly rolling out, uh, I mentioned that earlier on that we've wanted to cover it since its announcement, of course. At the time, we were, we were knee-deep into Google Stadia news. The channel was literally called Helix uh, Cloud Games. And uh, yeah, we always had the intention. We commissioned a fantastic intro to be made. It, it's been in the bank. We've had it sat there for well over a year now. So now we're finally out in the UK. Uh, we want to get to together and talk about it so it, it won't be weekly we definitely don't have the capacity uh, in between full-time jobs and business and everything like that right now uh, but we're going to get together a pilot we're going to figure something out and we'll we'll bring it to you we'll, we'll be on podcast services we'll be here on youtube as with all of our other shows uh, but yeah we want to get together want to create a haven safe place for all uh, luna fans cloud gaming cl cl cloud gamers sorry to to get together and uh, talk all things luna so yeah luna listening Keep it locked to check it out. Uh, I'll post the uh, intro up on Twitter, so if you missed it at the start, you'll be able to check it out. The enemy? Okay, right. Now, I've got I've got all those specials down the left, which I can't really remember how to use, but yeah, Frig, I'm coming slowly but surely down the stairs. Huh. Well, he didn't last long. Oh, his face, that beard is hot. Do they die if they bleed lava? Oi. Where is my son, demon? He waits at my Muscle warrior. There. But maybe not so fair as you remember. This is definitely the Ragnarok DLC. I I'm going to confirm. Gorge your blade. This guy. Right. Can't remember how to block, so this is going to be interesting. What have we got? We've got we've got a roll mechanic? What was roll? What was roll? Right, okay, so... X is like this little skip jump. Oh! Like, thankfully, again, I've got Mjolnir and... Excalibur, the might of Excalibur to protect me. But for some reason in my head, there was a... It's got to be a block button, right? Why can't I think of that? So R1 is light attack. R2 is heavy attack. L1 is the kind of like a slam down attack. L2, I know I'm using PlayStation terms, but you know what I'm talking about. L2 is aimed down the ball. I can't think what block would be. The squares roll or shimmy square <laughs> x y is put my oh, y is pick up your body yeah don't need this guy b is oh b's crouch okay i've run out of buttons raven not available that's how you're calling your viking horn right press right on the d-pad is your health left on the d-pad no idea reach the throne room right anywhere we might not even need defend. Reach the throne room. Let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need block at some point. You know what? No, oh, that's the wrong button. Always do this. The action button doesn't do it either. Does the lunar button do it? No, that brings up the lunar menu. Now, there was a... Of course, when I play on... PlayStation, I have a touchpad, which brings up the menu. So what's the what's the menu button on this? Interesting. 
That's the menu menu. The action button. World map is currently unavailable. That must be the action button, but I don't want the world map. I just wanted the option to see where... Damn you. Come on. No, he didn't last very long. Strength and numbers. When two or more... Whoa! It's actually crazy because I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. I'm trying to press Y <laughs> to, to block, but it's not Y to block, is it? Come on, what are you rolling for? Protego doesn't quite work. That's a pretty cool move still. Um, Hungry Moogle, I bought this shortly after the city went down, but haven't given it a proper go. Oh, Valhalla's fantastic, dude. You should really, really check out Valhalla. Uh, even if you can't block, evidently you don't need it as much. Uh-oh. Bad time to have a drink, Chris. Uh, what other moves do I have? I've got the... Uh, this is Sparta Boot. There we go. From... Uh, oh, miss me with that tuck and roll. Oh, stomp, stomp. Yeah! There you go. Lava Boy, dead. Was it Lava Boy and something, girl? What was that terrible Spy Kids movie? All right, how do we get into here? Then? Now, you could climb anything and everything in the main game. Can you still do it? Yes, you can. Alley up. Up on the ramparts. And he's down there. Unbeknownst to him. Ah, missed him. Oh, well. So it would have been cool. Oh! Glitching through the air. Uh, through the brickwork there. Oh, there's some there's some drop-off. There we go. There's our first bit of uh, latency stuttering still happening. You can probably hear it in the music, actually. I always think with, uh, with streaming, it's always music that stands out clear when there's a drop-off because, obviously, the music isn't flowing. Let's go in, see what's going on here. Is Frigg's son okay? Is he okay? Someone drinking? I mean, that's a lot of lava in that room. Like, that must be so hot in there. Hey, he looks pretty done. Anyone who's played God of War will know who Balder is. Who's this? Serta. Voiced by Clancy Brown in Thor Ragnarok. Pro uh, Mr. Krabs from Spongebob, for those who don't know who Clancy Brown is. It's been too long since you... A little bit smaller than the MCU movies. Well, that didn't do anything, did it? Oh, here we go. Oh no, Thor's in a cage. Uh, shout out to Rock. Rock's in the chat. My friend, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good week. Hope you've enjoyed Luna so far. Caught a little bit of your stream last week. Of course, one of the one of the patient folks like myself in the UK. We've waited a long, long time to get our hands on this. So if you're a fan of cloud gaming, go check out Rock's channel. Plenty of great content over there with him and the guys. And I'm straight into a fight with a big boss and I don't know how to block. But I do know how to roll. No, no, do I? Hold it in, hold it in on this one. Do I just keep throwing these things out? Right, stay out the lava, Chris. Stay out the lava. Oh, I definitely need to know how to block or something, otherwise he's going to get me every single time. Right. Anyone in the chat who knows how to block, who's played this game recently, because I'm just going to get destroyed here. Raven's not available. Right, I'm going to die so quickly. Can I just pepper him with arrows, you think? No. Get out the lava! What's, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening to me there. Okay, we'll try that again. Uh, Barclay Gaming the chat. Greetings, Barclay. Thanks for stopping by. And Jin as well, one of our Helix heroes. Of course, if you want to support the channel and watch me die many, many times here, uh, please do click join below. Consider it from as little as 99p. 
you get early access to our talking the ps playstation show a bunch of other fantastic packs as well and richie's undying love right i'm going to reload that save point i need to really find out how to block because it feels like it's a big part of this game that i'm missing it's a big part of elden ring warlong fallen dynasty it's not as important in assassin's creed but having not played it for so many months i feel like i need to know how right if it would let me bring up the menu this is the problem i'm pressing the action button for the menu this isn't a lunar thing by the way this is just a ubisoft thing because i'm in the mission uh dodge and roll table flip if only so like i press the me oh, i've got the pause menu but there's no option for options. I wonder if I start the mission. Again, this is the confusing thing. I don't have any more buttons. He's got his little crouch button. He's got his, put his weapon away. Now in my brain, it's telling me like L1 or LB, L bumper, is block. But that's this kind of like slam down thing he does. Hmm. Is it, is it, is it X? No, X is roll. I feel like such an idiot. Anyway, let's go go back in. Watch that cutscene again. Oh, you need a shield in lead. Of course, I've got... I've, damn it, you're right. I've, I'm wielding Milner and Excalibur, so I can't block. Right. You're on it. You're on it, my friend. You're on it. There's a reason. There's a reason. Right, I don't need to watch that again. Let's skip this. So I've opted to wield two weapons. Hence that. And he's done me already. Right. Let's throw that at him. Whoa! Oh, look, perfect block. Hence the... Oh, was that a perfect block as well? No. Whoa! That's not good. He's got these little lava pools, which he keeps dropping. He's got some, uh, he's got some good hits in this guy. That's it, you've got a block in this game, don't you? I'm constantly on fire. I mean, I mean, he's relentless, I'll give him that. Come on, Excalibur, let's get some hits in. The sort of King Arthur doing... Doing the magic work. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's give him a big Spartan boot, eh? Oh. Right. Get in near him. We got some Milner action as well. Why did you block with Milner there? Look! Just hammer at his foot. Yeah! No, that did nothing with Milner. I think I think we'll jeez, those hits are instant. I think we've got him, even though even though I died last time, evidently. The strength of my 128 hours or whatever it was is enough to uh, to do it. But let's defeat Sada and then we'll move on. In the crotch, two axes to the crotch. He just goes down like a sack of rocks. Boosh. Yeah, still fighting over there. No! No, he's not down. Is this one of those missions where he um, he kind of defeats me now, and then I have to go on a whole adventure and find myself and level up, and then come back at the end and fight him again in his mega large form? Of course, Sada, gonna bring on Ragnarok. Their fight seems less fiery than mine did. Just lay her down there. Oh, that, that kick to the ribs. Always a, always a sucker punch. You 
It's a bit creepy. Oh no. Wow. Didn't protect Frigg. And Ragnarok has begun. Again, spoilers for Valhalla, but Javi, aka Eivor, the character and the main protagonist in the game, is actually, spoilers, Odin. You kind of relive Odin, the lead up to Ragnarok, through the eyes of Eivor. So you're, you're kind of playing Assassin's Creed in England and then also Assassin's Creed in Asgard. Great combination, nice crossover. Uh, really, really enjoyed the campaign, the story. Huge fan of Norse mythology. I'm sure loads of people are now, thanks to the, the MCU and stuff. And uh, as Odin, of course, I'm being eaten by a raven, which shouldn't happen because the ravens are his, his best mates. So here we go. They've apparently killed me, but I'm not dead. Am I being, am I being mugged right now? Or am I being saved? What's going on? Uh, Shane, if Luna comes to know, uh, NL. Valhalla would be great to try. I never played it, but I brought a very good deal in Stadia, so I should have it in my library, yeah. If it does come to the Netherlands, Jin, I'm sure you'll have it straight away. Like, I've got it there, so I didn't buy it on Luna. I don't have Ubisoft Plus currently, and apparently I have the Ragnarok DLC as well, so woohoo! Win-win for cloud gamers everywhere. Speaking of cloud gaming, here we are. I think we'll end the look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla there. Folks in the chat, anything anything you'd like me to check out? I've got the Amazon Luna Plus subscription, and I have evidently some Ubisoft games that I had. Uh, Hjorvar in the chat, shout out to Hjorvar, join as well. Chris is streaming, he's alive. I am, all is well at home. A little baby daughter is absolutely beautiful. Um, she's hopefully asleep. She's with mommy right now, hopefully asleep. And uh, yeah, I've snuck away to check out some Amazon Luna. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Uh, Brendan in the chat as well. Brendan McBee, another one of our fantastic Helix heroes. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'm loving the loving the warm welcome return. I said before the beginning, a little bit nervous coming back to the stream after so many weeks off. It's uh, it's one of those ones where you're always a bit like, just before you go live, you take a breath. Of course, Richie's usually with me, so doing it on my own. Uh, let's see, we've got in lead, says Resident Evil 2. I am super tempted to check out Resident Evil 2. Of course, it's Resident Evil all over the world right now. 10 out of 10s for a Resi 4 remake. And uh, here on the channel, I've played Village and I've played uh, 7 Biohazard. And I'm notoriously not a horror guy. I'm a bit of a coward when it comes to horror games. But playing it with you on stream and Richie as well for that uh, emotional support it's been great to get through i know rob's a massive resident evil fan so i do intend to actually fully play through them maybe in the lead up to halloween so yeah resident evil 2 uh thank you brendan thank you congrats on the baby girl she's beautiful she's absolutely beautiful um and barclay says what about luna couch corp test yes that is on the agenda couch corp um not rusty at all no my back is killing me but that's that's from parent things all uh, right let's bounce out of this then let's uh See where we're at on the map. Now I've got my actual map back. Where, are, where in the world are we? Am I still in Ravensthorpe? Yes, I am. Great. So by, by my ruling, I can skip back to the main menu, save it, because as with all crazy people, we like to save the game. I'm saving a Lunar version here for the first time, it would seem. 129 hours. Wow. Isn't that just a long, long, long time uh, to play a game? Right, let's press the Luna option. Brings up this little menu here. It says Helix plays games. If you want to, you can actually, can you add people on Luna? Is that a thing? I don't think it is yet. I know that achievements aren't a thing. Hopefully they're working on it because achievements are awesome. It's a bit of a trophy haul on PlayStation myself. Then yes, they are important. Uh, we've got the controller, headset volume, start a broadcast. I could have actually streamed this to Twitch, but I haven't. Don't know why. Didn't think that one through. Uh, but you can stream it Twitch. I won't bother that with it now. We'll, we'll stick here on the stream. Uh, but we can exit the game. So let's see how quick. Uh, yes, exit the game, please. Back on our main screen. Anyone who's familiar with cloud gaming is used to these. Uh, help us improve Luna. How would you rate your gameplay session? Uh, I'd say it was good with some minor issues because we did have a little bit of stuttering and staggering, which I understand is going to happen. Alas. That's the, they want the true, honest feedback. Uh, right then, so... Lunar Couch, I do want to do. I think I'll round out with Lunar Couch. 
Let's see what we've got. Here are scariest gameplay. Alien Isolation. Yeah, Alien Isolation is oh, harsh. And it was just removed from Game Pass, I think, as well. It's on the way out from Game Pass. So Moon is a good place to check it out. Um, yeah, let's check out. While Resident Evil is on the cards... Let's uh, see. So let's have a look at the library, actually. Well, we've got Alien Isolation. Again, if, you, if you're a game developer, start your game with the letter A. Even double A. Aardvark. Aardvark Attack, something like that. And you will be at the top of every game list uh, imaginable for things like this. Aardvark Attack, developed by Helix Plays Games, right here. Uh, Arcade Paradise. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? All the Assassin's Creed's that you get... Uh, again, a couple of titles. B Simulator. Okay. A lot of games that, if I'm honest, I'm not going to check out. They're really not up my street. Uh, Dirt 5. Control. One of the big touted front front runners for Amazon Luna. Again, Control. If you've not played Control, fantastic game from Remedy. Uh, absolutely love it. A bit of telekinesis powers. Moving things around. Third person action adventure with a great, great, spooky, intriguing mystery story. Love that one. Can't wait for Control 2. Earthworm Jim. Wow, shout out to Earthworm Jim. I've not watched that cartoon for a long, long time. Uh, Far Cries, of course, yeah. Freshly Frosted. Just looks like... Doesn't even look like a game. Garfield Car Race. Now, there are a few kart races on, on here as well. Uh, Guacamole 2. Uh, I played the first Guacamole on the PlayStation Vita. Had a great time with it. Uh, just launched on Amazon Luna, Guacamole 2. So definitely check that one out if you're into it. Lumo, we've seen all these. Martha is Dead. Again, a couple of familiar Stadia games here from anyone. Panzer Dragoon, Overcooked 2. River City Girls, that's a, that's a throwback as well. Scott Pilgrim, yeah. Sonic Colors, that's kind of one that's on my radar. All the Shantae games. SpongeBob, Steamwell Dig. So there's a lot of similarity that we've seen. Of course, Sonic Mania. Waiting for Sonic Mania 2. Uh, that is the plus version, I should point out. So it includes all the DLC and multiple characters. The Mummy D Masters, what the hell is that? Now, I did see Resident Evil in there. Did I go past Resident Evil? Oh, there we are. So Resident Evil 2 and 3. Let's boot up Resident Evil 2 and just see how visually that looks. Because the RE engine is mwah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's just check out this and see where we're at with that. And then eventually when we get closer to Halloween, maybe me, Richie, and Rob will do some kind of co-op stream. I want to do all of them, really. Now, I'm, now I've kind of lifted the lid off my horror, horror game history. And I enjoyed 7. Absolutely love Village. And I'm a big third-person fan. So, yeah, going back to 2, 3, and then 4, I really want to do. So Halloween seems like it's around the corner, but it'll be here in the blink of an eyelid. There it is, the RE engine. Touch the moon, Amazon Luna. This game has an autosave feature. Fantastic. English, English, English. Confirm. That's fine. That's fine. When it asks you about brightness on horror games, it's basically asking you how scared do you want to be. Uh, everything's fine. Actually, you know what? For brightness, I'll crank the brightness up a little bit for your benefit because you're on stream. It can be a little bit darker. There is a QR code if you wish to scan it. New game mode added. Here we are. So, RE2. That I, I'm holding out, out hope that Capcom give us a original a first Resident Evil remake so that the whole collection is there in the RE engine because they have hit that point. Now RE4 remake is out. Where do you go from there? Because 5 wasn't that beloved. 6, really not that beloved, even though it's one of the highest selling games in the franchise history. As they started to get more towards action adventure, they lost their roots a little bit. 7 kind of took them back to horror with the first person switch up. And they've kind of bounced year to year between the two. Third person, first person, third person, first person with the remakes. Uh, I know some people have been saying Code Veronica, uh, Resident Evil, is it Zero or X? Can't remember which one it is. There's a couple of that could potentially do, but. Personally, if they do one, then I can start right at the beginning and go one, two, three, four. Love it. Right, I'm going to go with Leon. Go with my boy Leon. Um, assisted standard hardcore. Just standard. Middle of the road for horror. Uh, yeah, Hungry Moogle, no friend list on the PC app for Amazon Luna. So, hmm. Uh, Brendan, yeah, a lot of retro titles. Uh, remember, there was a Retro Plus channel that you could subscribe to, but... If memory is serving right, they got rid of it a few weeks, months ago and folded the retro channel into normal Luna. No friendless period. Done. For now. For now. I was going to say add me on Helix Plays Games, but not a thing. That's a fat burger. And that was a lot of rain. 
But the engine looks great. If the game looks great, stream runs good. Oh! Don't give in to fear. He says as he's about to embark on a on a horror game. I wouldn't like driving and eating a burger like that. I feel like once I'm taking a bite and then I put my hand back on the steering wheel, I'm just greasing up the steering wheel <laughs> to, or, or the gear stick to then inevitably get on my face or something. Oh! Kiss blast. <laughs> oh, the hair. The hair on the front. Oh, she is done. She is done. Great opening for this game. How does the rain look, everyone? The rain look good? Sarge in the chat shouts out, Chris! I am back, I am back. Not fully yet. Of course, I did a first look at the controller here on the channel in my downtime. I actually recorded that at like half 11 at night when I was on baby duty. Uh, I'm here tonight to check out some Luna. Richie was gonna join me, but he's got some work stuff to do. And uh, this guy is gonna get messed up. Ari 2, Resident Evil. Uh, but yes, Sarge, I'm back for a stream tonight. Just me. Uh, all is going well, thank you very much. Again, one of our longest standing Helix heroes. Sarge, Kubapel, Hungry Mugle, Hyova, Brendan, Jin. Uh, you're all out tonight, I love to see you. You're all, you're all gorgeous people, I love all your support. Thank you very, very much. And uh, as I was saying, Sarge, you may have missed it, but we've, uh, we've announced a new show on the channel. The Lunar Listening Podcast, uh, coming to you soon. Keep it keep your eyes on Twitter for the the awesome pixel art intro with me, Richie, and Rob. Now, when Leon's a police officer, right, he should be on heightened alert right now, not just questioning why things are a bit weird. Is he a police officer? He is, right. You might have had an inkling, Sarge, yeah. We've, we've had it in the bag for well over a year now. Like, paid, commissioned, designed, delivered, and we've just been sitting on it. Just been sitting on it. So much so, for those uh, OG Helix Plays Games fans, uh, the original intro had Tom in the intro. That's how long ago it was. That's how long ago it was. So we've had this plan. Uh, we've actually had the Twitter account for well over a year and a bit as well, so... Got a plan in advance. Right, here we go. Police car, messed up. It said run. It said pressing the sticks to run, but this is, uh, this is a slow jog. Now, horror fans out there, I will, I'm about to show you the scariest, scariest thing in this game. It's the fuel prices. What? $1.06, $1.09, and $1.21 for the top level. That is scary. That is the scariest realization in this game. Fuel does not come that cheap <laughs> anywhere in the world right now. Anywhere in the world. Even at Miz Oil gas station. With those juicy, juicy hamburgers. Right. Let's see. What's going on here? We've got a little wine. A little wine. Should they be promoting alcohol this heavily? Beer on sale at a petrol station, a gas station. Hmm... The fact that there's no lights on, which suggests it's weird. Anybody there? <laughs> not so tired, Sarge. I, I run on lack of sleep. I'm not a morning person. Once I'm up and about, I'm pretty good. You think, Leon? You think? A lot of detail in this, actually. Like, for, for a temporary shop, there is... I mean, something's going on back there. I know it's just a shop, but there, I, I do get big quickie mart vibes off this. Counters on the right, shelves are down there, fridges are over that side. Uh, and blood on the floor, so very similar to the quickie mart. This is why I don't like horror games. It's it's little things like this that draw you in. Full on headphones on. Oh shit. Like, it just points. Points. 
I mean, tending to him, maybe shut that door. Ah, oh, I don't like this already. Oh. It's crazy that this is behind the fridges, though. This is something that blew my mind when you find out this as a kid. In, like, big, big supermarket shopping center things like this, is that the fridges are just restocked from the back. Ingenious, really. Oh, dear. There's definitely a struggle going on in here. And if I have a gun, how have I not drew it already? Leon, that's your fault. That's on him. Help, yeah? Ah, uh, how did they get so easily through the skin? Ooh, that is some scary stuff. I'm not even going to pause the shoot. Yeah. There's one bullet loss. Ah, oh, two bullets lost. Right, headshots don't down these things. Apparently, back and away, back and away. Now, is he dead? Little wormy guy on the floor, is he dead? Because I just don't trust it. I put four bullets in his head there. Didn't stop him. You shout out to Amazon Luna in the chat. This part is scary, Amazon Luna. So scary, in fact, that I've only got three bullets left. Right. Do we go check on him? Is he dead? And step over. Long step over. Who a police officer friend? Well, I don't feel like he's going to get up now as well. Oh, but yeah, shout out to Amazon Luna in the chat. Really, really appreciate you stopping by. Luna team, of course. Wider release outside of the United States. We're here in the UK now, playing Cloud Gaming. And I'm here to check it out. We've just checked out Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You've missed that one. I caught up on my 128 hours plus without downloading it, without patches, nothing like that. So yeah, shout out to you for launching. Congratulations on the wide launch and congratulations on this awesome little controller as well. Big, big fan. And I like the purple. Now, back to the horror. Right. I don't have a key for that lock yet. I always forget with Resident Evil, you don't have your t traditional kind of wheel spin inventory that comes up. You get the little pause menu, which does give you a little bit of respite for these, uh, these zombies. Step over this body. He's going to get up. I've only got three bullets. Should have probably took the police officer's gun. There's the key key to the storage room Oop, did I I have to actually put it in my inventory I've done that before, I did that on uh, whilst playing village pizza in the chat pizza in the chat, pizza on the table okay, so I just, tiredness may have set in a little bit I just said pizza in the chat I mean you can drop some pizzas in the chat who doesn't like a pizza any night of the week I don't trust this police officer I've got the key to that room he was bitten Oh, no, 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 no. Right, does he know I'm behind him yet or not? He should now. I just put a bullet in the back of his head. Does he know? Oh, why did I wait to shoot again? I've got two bullets left. Oh, and I missed one! Oh. Right, is he is he either dead or not? But I need to get in this room to find some bullets. Uh, Use key items, yes. Yes, use. Love the little floaty key, which my house key did that. Go in. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Oh, dear, 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 dear. This guy, right. Uh, I've got no bullets, so I can't stay and kill these guys. Oh! They're everywhere. He was hiding in the ice cream machine. You don't have any bullets. <laughs> now he does. Got those magical bullets. Uh, Barclay Gaming dropping a three euro super chat. Thank you, Barclay. Appreciate your support, my friend. Brendan asking the important questions out there. Hey, Luna, you're coming to other countries in Europe, of course. Germany, Canada, UK, and the USA. Win. Because it runs great so far. So why not roll it out further? Just run. Just run, everyone. You have no bullets, Leon. She's wearing bright red, for all we know. Zombies are attracted to bright red, like bulls. Although that's not actually true. I believe bulls are colorblind. They just run at the idiot waving a big flannel at them. Misconception. 
I saw a guy wearing a matador hat waving a towel at me, I might run at him as well. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. He's a cop who carries a, bo a gun with three bullets. Live around here? No. Looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Oh, really? Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. The RE engine just looks great. Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. I couldn't imagine any cities in the real world putting that on the welcome to the town sign. Here we go, love a good intro. Now, the great thing with RE2 is, in most RE games, you can play through the story multiple times as, as two different characters. So at the beginning, we picked to play as Leon, but you can do the whole thing as Claire, experience slightly different entrance ways and puzzles and such. I love it. Love this little intro, of course. We're going to go to the police station in Raccoon City and solve all the puzzles. Not going to do it fully on the stream tonight. As I said, we're going to pick up with the, uh, that at a later time. But Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 available on Amazon Luna right now on the main Luna Plus subscription option. You, of course, hopefully will have Resident Evil 4 in the future. It makes sense. Two, three, four. Uh, shout out to Brendan with a super chat in there. Two euros. Thank you very much, Brendan. One up. You give me that extra life with that emoji. Thank you. That'll see me through the night when I don't get any sleep. Uh, Hungry Moogle says, I'll probably pick up the controller when it goes on sale. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, it's been available in the States for some time, and I've seen multiple uh, friends we've got over there showcasing this when it goes on offer. Prime Day, Cyber Monday. Um, but I think it was, yeah, £59.99 here in the UK, and uh, yeah, very good controller. I'm using it on Bluetooth mode as it stands. It does have a USB-C charging port on the back, so it's up to date with the times if you want to directly connect it. 89.99 Canadian dollars. Wait until the Aussies get their hands on it. Australian dollars are always crazy high. It'd be like a thousand Australian dollars. Geek to Sneak in the chat says, Ayo! Hope you're good, Geek to Sneak. Hope you're having a good week, buddy. Have you checked out Loon yet? Oh, that damn sales tax. Oh, it's like a zombie on the windshield, that sales tax. I mean, what do they expect? Let's have the lights. You might as well turn the sirens on this point. Uh oh. It's the truck driver guy! Oh, poor guy. All he wanted to do was drive, do his job, eat a burger, and he ended up paying for it. Uh, Amazon Lunar in the chat says, Thank you. Purple is our favorite color, too. No surprise. No surprise. It does look really good, I will say. The, the purple inlays on the on the sticks, very nice touch. And the little, little light glows around. I do like it. If anyone knows in the background, over here we've got our Lunar Listening logo. You've got a moon there, and you've also got the little Helix Plays game symbol in there as well. Lunar Listening coming to you soon from me, Richie, and Rob. We're going to round up all the Lunar news. Here on the channel, while Leon's getting messed around. Uh, yeah, we're all happy. We're happy for that wide release. Uh, Jin's got to go, have a good stream. I'm curious how well the couch cope works. So if, yeah, yeah, we're going to get into it. I think yeah, after, okay? after this initial part, we're going to jump over to some couch cop soon. Yeah. Brendan heading out. Just want to see how Luna runs. Yeah, runs pretty damn good. Brendan, take care. I'll see you on the next one, buddy. Can't stay here. It's, not safe. it's not safe. Nowhere is safe, Leon. But we've been separated now. I'll be there. And I'm not going anywhere near them. Oh. Now, with most of these, I believe you can just run around, right? Avoid them. Because they're not... Some of them aren't that fast. They do like a little cheeky lunge. Is it down here I need to go? Shit. It's everybody. Is it down here? I don't know why I'm going this way, but... Do I have any bullets now? I've got no bullets, so... It looks like it's the running game for me anyway. Ah! There it is. RPD. Station. Right, if I can just get to the entrance. Oh. Right, just avoid this person around the back. 
And can we get there? That, that was smooth, I'm just gonna say it. No bullets, but that was smooth. Uh, Geek to Sneak said, uh, had the founders $6 a month price until I missed the payment and they wanted $10. So yeah, I'm not too sure what the, uh, the nominal fees are. I think over in the, here in the UK, it's £8.99 for Luna Plus. Uh, I've got the trial at the moment. There's a seven day free trial to anyone who wants to check it out for the first time. Uh, Ubisoft Plus, of course, is, is standard Ubisoft Plus pricing. And these guys, um, well, you know what I respect about these zombies is they're not putting their hands through the bars. Like at the zoo, you should never put your hands through the bars. They could easily get their whole head through, some of them, but no, they, they're respectful of my boundaries until I rip my face out later on. Uh, right, we've reached the police department. Anything over here? We need to pick up some herbs, as they say in the US. They drop the H for, for some reason. Herbidacious. Right, can't go that way. Else, this will be the backtrack scenario of this game inside the police station. And here we are. Doesn't that look familiar, boys and girls? Hello? Is anybody here? There's our little save point. Oh, bullets. Six. Yes, please. There's our typewriter and a modern laptop. I believe this was added for the <laughs> for the remake. No typewriters in 2023. Um, it's a good question. Do you think you'll stick with the Luna Plus sub after the trial ends? Uh, at this moment in time, I would stick with it for Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. As it stands, I am currently uh, working my way through Hogwarts Legacy, and I've got one eye on Jedi Survivor, which comes out in two and a bit weeks. So if I've got that time window within two and a bit weeks when the trial ends, I might continue checking some of the games out. Uh, I do have, though, of course, Valhalla with the Ragnarok DLC now, thanks to Ubisoft. So I might not keep this plus subscription, but I'll jump in uh, and no doubt and check it out. Uh, what I have been playing is the ukulele and the impossible lair, which I'll get into in just a short while, just to showcase that. Now we've saved it here. Happy to confirm... Resident Evil looks great. Plays pretty damn fine too. And now I've got six bullets to reload. Um, so from here, from the hub point, we would go out, we would explore Raccoon Police Department. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. There's some of that yellow tape that you can uh, get past in these games without without a cutting tool. Couldn't just tear it off. Uh, but let's uh, pop out then, Lunar Menu. Exit the game. Yes, exit the game. So, how would I rate that one? That one ran really well. I'm going to give them an excellent. No issues. <laughs> Look at that screenshot. That's brilliant. Uh, switching back to my mouse for this element. Let's see. So. Library. So, the game I have been playing a little bit of was... I should have just added it to a playlist. That would make much more sense. It's on the home screen. I believe it's on the home screen. Uh, so with the Prime Gaming, you've got this week's Prime members there. You've got Trials from Zero, which Richie's going to love. Uh, Get Packed, Couch Chaos. Get Packed, there's a first look up on the channel, actually, of that one from way, way back in the day. A bit like Overcooked, but moving furniture instead. Mega Man 11 and Sail Forth. Of course, that rotates every single month. Uh, here on the channel, we'll keep you updated. If you follow us on Twitter, on social media, on Facebook and such, we'll keep you in the loop with when these games are announced. Trending games are in there. Sonic Colors Ultimate, big shout out to that. You can link your accounts, and there's those on there. Uh, what was I saying? Ukulele and the Impossible there. Just to give us a little bit more levity from all of the evil stuff going on. Let's have a little dabble in. Ukulele and Impossible Lair. So as I said, I've been playing this one on my phone. I've been using my Samsung Galaxy Ultra uh, and my Razer Kishi. Uh, I love a bit of on-the-go cloud gaming. And 2D platformers, that's what they're designed for, right? Bit of Sonic, where I checked out Sonic Mania Plus first, then checked out Ukulele. I'm holding out for the next FIFA game, whatever it is, EA Sports FC. Give me FIFA on the go, that's the, one of my top choices with cloud gaming. P to continue. Now, if anyone played the original ukulele game, this was kind of like the spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie. 
anyone who had that on the N64 back in the day by Rare. Of course, Rare now with Xbox, they're making Sea of Thieves and probably an upcoming title. And this was kind of like a little spin-off they did after the 3D ukulele game. This is a 2D side-scroller, or kind of like top-down to some degree. I did the first few missions, so I will say that's already gone. But I'm going to jump into this, so a little bit of an open world area. If you've not played this, it's a, it's a cute little game. you got Yuka and Lely, the bat, and the little chameleon. I'll do chapter one just to show you what that looks like. Run through it, collect things, squash bad guys. Uh, the bad guy is a bee who looks like Gru from Despicable Me. The queen is your friend. There's far too many bee-related puns in this game. But this is what it's about. You roll. You collect gold feathers. Fun bit of music. There's a dancing feather guy there. Some elements of Sonic. Mario. That kind of thing. Yeah, cute little game. Puzzles to solve. Bells to ring. Well up. I don't actually know what you spend the feathers on, but... Pick up and throw. So I've got my Kirby lick Lizard Top. Actually, I say Kirby. It's more like uh, Gex. Bring back Gecko. Save the Gecko. But yeah, again, this runs great on my phone. Uh, using Amazon Luna. Oh, destroying, destroying the house here. And then you win. Great little game. What are some of your best 2D platformers out there? Chat, what, what are you getting up to? What are you playing? Of course, I'm a classic Sonic and Mario kind of guy. Which, of course, are like the top, top tier upper echelons. Ah, they're just gonna keep spawning back. I don't know what the feathers are for. Ooh, but I did get a, get a gold one. I don't think you get an extra life when you reach 100, but... No oh, doors locked. That's like you can go up to get through the door, but uh, Rayman! Shout out to Rayman, that's another one uh, from my childhood I love. Uh, Crash Bandicoot of course has elements of 2D platforming, but a lot of Crash was always the uh, front face running away, running to and from. Being chased by a giant boulder. Can, the, can he swim? Yes. You can at can swim. Oh, look at that. Back crawl, front crawl, everything. Oh, feathers, feathers galore. Do I have limitations on my breath? Oh, a little bit of an audio dip there. Don't know if you guys heard it. Uh, Geek of Sneaks, an RPG guy. Uh, Hjorvas is Mega Man. And, oh, no, I looked at the chat. I got hit. Uh, the only can be opened by using a buddy slam. Uh, shout out to Lee in the chat. Of course, the original Cloud Gaming dad. Uh, yes, coming out potentially for the Lula Showcase, Chris. Indeed, Lee. Uh, I've, had it, I've had the control for like over a week now. I've been checking out a little bit, and I thought, I need to get on and do something just to see... Uh, see what it's all about so we've played Assassin's Creed Valhalla run just as you'd expected great catching up on my cloud save 128 hours checked out some Resident Evil 2 wanted to see how the RE engine fared with uh, Resident Evil 4 of course very popular right now what am I missing here what am I missing can I not go up that way And now I'm checking out some ukulele. Why? What have I missed? Uh, there was a command that was a slam down. Now I didn't read it because I got hit. There it is. I'm through. I'm through, boys and girls. Um, 
So yes, I'm out. Uh, of course, none of it compares to looking after a newborn child, Lee. All of this has been super easy. Uh, but it's all, it's all great, my friend. It's all good. Ah, like that. Nope, that didn't do anything. Can I... Can I roll through them? Oh, I can. I think because they're a bit bigger, I didn't expect to be able to break through them. Um, Cloudbusters says, is it jittery for you? Found Luna a bit like that. Uh, not, not anything noticeable. I, I, again, I was playing this on my phone with Razor Kishi and it ran fine on there. Seems okay. We've noticed a little little drop off in audio and a couple of framey bits when we play in Valhalla, when almost like the game feels like it's playing catch up by a couple of seconds, but touch wood. Generally, all going pretty good so far. Uh, I am a big fan of the controller. Um, again, with, with today as well, it's hard to go wrong with the controller. Was a big fan of the Stadia controller. I am more preferable towards the symmetrical sticks that you find traditionally on a PlayStation controller, but I did get a Series S um, with my refund money from Google Stadia. Trip myself to that, and uh, you know what, the offset sticks don't bother me either, but the controller itself, love the purple. Two AA batteries, which again, a bit disappointed by that, but hey ho, you can get some batteries to stick it in. Um, yeah, audio on this one seems a little bit glitchier, Cube Apple, I'll definitely give you that one. And uh, thanks again, Leon, the congratulations, it does mean a lot, buddy. Uh, any advice, of course, been there, done that. Got the t-shirts. Right, let's get uh, let's get through this level then, and we'll we'll check out some couch features, couch player. Oh wait, I need to. So I was saying about this game, it actually got better reviews than the third person. There we go. Free the bees! What was that line? Just something a little bit different. So, there's plenty of games on Amazon Luna that seem to be fulfilling that kind of family friendly niche. Um, we'll go good one, that one. There was a couple of audio bits and glitches. Something nice and colourful about that, though. If you're a big Banjo-Kazooie fan, 2D platformer, you'll love that one. Uh, Team 17, same publishers uh, behind Overcooked and stuff, so they've got that family audience. Uh, yeah, you're right, Lee, in the chat, confirming it again. Yeah, if you bought any games on U uh, Ubisoft titles specifically on Stadia, you will own them through Ubisoft Connect, so you can play them on PC and here on Luna. So if I look at my library... Uh, you'll notice I've got lots of games. And funnily enough, ones that I didn't even buy on Stadia. So I think Assassin's Creed Chronicles titles there, I bought on PlayStation, maybe, a good while ago. And evidently, they're linked to my Ubisoft Connect account, which in turn, because they're available on Luna, they're here as well. Uh, okay, folks, so I'll probably go for another 30, 40 more minutes on this stream, checking out the tech. Uh, well, where would you like to go? What do you want to check out? We've got couch, as I said, so one of the unique features is with Luna Couch, I can play local co-op games with friends, even if they're not subscribed to Luna, even if they're not with me, I can get a code, I can share it with you people out there. So we've got uh, Sonic Mania, you could play as Tails, because I'll definitely be Sonic. We've got Trials Rising, we've got some Overcooked, which I think would be now an impossible uh, <laughs> via, uh, via stream. Hot Wheels. I'm actually keen to check out Hot Wheels, probably because we, of course, played Hot Wheels uh, previously on the channel, so I'm familiar with that one. It's got Pilgrim. Always needs one, but yeah, it's, it's down here. There's a lot of games. The Jackbox games are probably more for when you've got a couple of beers on a Friday night. Sonic Colors, Guacamelee. A couple of classic titles on there. Uh, Oddballers. Did Oddballers actually come out? <laughs> I know that was like a Ubisoft title that I did not know. And I do not own it, so we can't play Oddballers. Because I am paying $14.99 uh, for one game where you play dodgeball. So I should probably clarify, yeah, if we're going to play Couch, it's probably a game that needs to be on Luna Plus. Uh, Beach Boogie Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels is only for two players. Okay, Beach Boogie Hot, Beach Boogie Hot Wheels specifically? Is there a different version? Trial Fusions, World Rally Championship... Should we go Sonic Team Racing? 
Sonic Team Racing, Beach Boogie Racing 2, with two votes for Beach Boogie. Uh, Yorvas in the chat saying hopefully the Activision Blizzard King deal will get Xbox to make a deal for the Xbox channel on Luna. Uh, hey, you know what? Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. I'm, I'm me and Richie, uh, not too sure about Rob, but we're big perpetrators of thinking that uh, we'll get Game Pass on like PlayStation one day, so anything can happen. But yeah, 10 dead deal for Call of Duty and Luna would be pretty sweet. Ah, there it is. Beach Buggy Racing 2. Is it the one you guys were talking about? Yes, yeah, Beach Buggy Racing. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Beach Buggy Racing 2. Hot Wheels. Ah, so Hot Wheels Edition. So it's not to become... So, see, I thought Beach Buggy 2 <laughs> was DLC for the Hot Wheels Racing game. Uh, but yeah, hell yeah. It's, there's an octopus. There's loop-de-loops. Let's check out some Beach Buggy Racing, everyone. Now, for me to couch share this with you folks wow that is a that is a bright screen how do i do this then lunar couch to so press the button start a couch session lunar couch session with helix players games continue there it is chat there it is there is the couch corp option so share this code with your friends so they can come and play okay i got it um, let's see, Luna Couch. Okay, if I can spell Luna Couch Code. Now there's the Luna Couch Code, but it didn't give me a link to the actual game. I saw Barclays just join there. Race. So yeah, Barclay got added, but it didn't tell me where you need to go. So I'm guessing you guys will need to head over to Amazon Luna Couch. I'll find. Let's see if we can find a link. Okay, eh? let's do some exploration together. Um, Amazon Luna Couch. What is? Join a Luna Couch session in customer services. You go to a link. Let's see, Amazon Luna Couch. Uh, you can find compatible games by visiting Amazon Luna Couch. Luna.amazon.com forward slash couch. Get started with Luna Couch. Receive a code from your friend. There we go. Uh, I need to go to Luna.co.uk potentially. I'll drop this link in there. See if that works. Uh, but I'll go to the UK version of it. I can't do anything more from here then. It may be Luna UK. I'll drop them both into the chat just in case. Just in case. So who have we got? We've got... Press the D-pad to add. Last car standing, right. Little bit of bugginess with the audio there, folks. I can hear it, so you must be able to hear it. Race. Oh, we've got to go with the octopus. Hot Wheels Harbor. Okay. I don't know what this means. Standard tracks. I don't know what the buttons are. Uh, I'm guessing the characters down the bottom, one, two, and keyboard and mouse are you folks out there. Um, these are some faces. I'm going to go with the pirate skeleton. Look, Skelly. And he's going to drive. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's gonna drive lightning. I mean, Skelly Ghost Rider. I don't know if you're all with me. But we're, we're just about to check it out. Luna in the chat once again. How are you liking the Luna Couch feature? Works seamlessly. Uh, if you could clarify what link they need to use, that would be appreciated. Well, I uh, burned some rubber over here. So. I put two links in the chat. The first one said I need to use a UK based link. I've shared the code pretty easily. Just click the couch, get the code. But yeah, if you could give us some clarification on which link the guest to the couch game needs to play, that would be great. Right, I've got. Right, I've used my skeleton button. This is basically Car oh, maybe Mario Kart Racer. Is anyone in the chat in the race with me? Because I don't know if this game. 
Yeah, but that's clarity on who and John is. But I like the Hot Wheels aesthetic, and I like the fact that I'm a skeleton. It looks like, oh, I've got different moves. How did I not see the giant lightning bolt and ice cube? That should definitely have given it away. Ooh. Banana peel? The tree didn't stop me dead. Oh, I just murked them too. Come on, Chris. Come on, Skelly. See this loop to loop. I love a good car racer. Give me some crash team racing in the clouds. That's one thing I've yet to see. Alright, I've loaded up my skeleton powers. It's a missile. Okay. Oh, there's the Uka Uka mask. Now, speaking of Crash Team Racing, and it comes in the sabotage by race, Uka Uka. Get off here, what is going on? I've got the old ball and chain attached to me there. What is it happening? We've got some power-ups, everyone. We've got some power-ups going on. That's all we need. Oh, I just got absolutely mixed up there. Twice. This was not a good run. Okay, they had some kind of candy drop off there. Oh no, I mean swoosh. This is a tight race. Looking at the, the leader chat boy at the top, everyone is close. Uh, chat, I will get to you at some point. I'm just trying to drift my way to success. Uh, B for a box of chickens. Hopefully everyone crashed their doors. I don't know what this is, but I'm I don't know what these times are. We're back in Looney Tunes Fortnite. That's quite a fun yet annoying thing to have in the way. Alas, I think I've done it. Oh, ho, ho. that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Uh, maybe the wrong game mode. I think you have to start local multiplayer. Yes, of course, because it is. So now I can see that I'm, uh, Lilani, Ook, Benny, Red, Beatbot. Definitely not, not you folks. Right. Lee's back. Watched a copy of your gameplay. Okay, interesting. That is a good point. Yes, it's not multiplayer through Luna Couch. It's Couch Corp. So you would need... A race. Okay, I tell you what. I'm gonna back out of Beach Boogie Racing. I'm gonna back out of Beach Boogie Racing because I don't feel like the. That was fine. The setup for the multiplayer is that clear. The, the menus seem a bit basic. Does Hot Wheels Unleashed? We're gonna upgrade the graphics a little bit here. Uh, local PvP, so that's what we want, right? We want local PvP. So, if I get click couch, go through it officially, so you click Luna Couch, Hot Wheels Unleashed, play now. I'm gonna boot up again, Cloud Gaming. Love how seamlessly you can just switch between one thing to the next. If you are watching along, of course, don't forget to give the video a like. Subscribe and ring that bell so you're kept in the loop with all of the other great content we do here on the channel. We've got weekly PlayStation podcasts, talking to PS. We've got weekly Xbox podcasts, x -Pass, every Monday and Tuesday. And as I mentioned throughout this very stream, Luna Listening, the latest show here on the channel, will be coming very, very soon in the near future. Keep a lock to our social feeds and you will see the brand new Pixel Art intro with me, Rob and Richie, ready to bring you all of the Luna updates and news on a regular basis here on YouTube and up there in the digital clouds on your podcast preference of choice.
can't wait to talk about it and get into all that juicy gaming discussion. Do I want English? Of course I do. Gamma correction's fine. Right. Now, it didn't give me a new code there, so I take it you folks just use the same code. My first time using this, everyone, so keep me in the loop. While I open all of these toy boxes. Yes, okay, okay. Never opened this game before, so we get everything, it seems. Okay, so, Luna Couch, Luna Couch. I do not need to go straight into a race. Why must games do this? I don't, I don't need this. I get what they're doing, but I don't need to do it. Yes, I am Hungry Moogle skipping the tutorial. I'm a seasoned pro at this game. Uh, okay then, so. Quick modes, split screen. So to press, press A. Player, reconnect the controller and confirm split screen mode. So couch corp would be split screen, right? Split screen. So then player two. So somebody out there will be technically the player two with Luna Couch, correct? You use the code in the link in the chat to join my couch session. I suspect. Because there is no multiplayer, right? So quick race, pick your car. That wouldn't work. It would need to be split screen. So Hungry Moogle's gonna gonna help us out here to check out this lunar couch. So this is where this is where we can all blame Richie. Because I would get Richie here to do it on screen for us so we could witness it all. But Hungry Moogle's gonna help out to see how this seamlessly works. So now, of course, the concept behind this is you get the code, you share it with a friend who doesn't necessarily have Luna, they click the link, they get into the game, and they can play it as though old school style, they were sat side by side on the couch, like you might have done with your younger brother or sister back in the day, your older brother or sister, play one, play two, and just do some racing action, sports titles, side scrollers, anything like that. Uh, favorite beer, Yorvar says in the chat. Favorite beer? Ooh. Uh, I'm a good fan of the Kronas. I'm a big fan of the Kronas. Um, what do I like? I'm a big fan of Star Pramen. It's probably one of my go-to ones at the moment. It really changes depending on the weather. Try another link code. Okay, so... Start, oh, I had it then. Start a Luna Couch session. Continue. There's the code. Thank you, Cloudbusters. You might need to get a new code for each game, if that makes sense. Uh, just looking back, it is different to the last code, so that makes sense. Brewdog Punk IPA. Hey, Hungry Moogle has joined the game. Awesome. So then Cloudbus has joined the game, and now it seems to be like you have control of that as well. So just like I guess if you've got two players. Barclay Gaming's joined the game as well. I don't know how that works with split screen. It just seemingly gave you, I guess, control of my screen there as well. Magic. Uh, uh, I don't know what's happening. This isn't me doing this. Uh, are we, what, what are we in the basement? Are we building a track there? Yes, I don't want to be in the basement. Right, so now we're here. I guess player two presses A. That's very weird. That's very weird. Uh, let's just, I'm just gonna ready up just to get into it. Whoever's joining me, let's, uh, let's just get into it. What cars we've got? Oh, not many cars. 
It is quite surreal. It's obviously a nice workaround. We're gonna go with that. Oh, do we both pick the same car? Even better. T-Rex in the living room. How do I, I have to pick that one immediately? Buy? Buy? Oh, I don't have any coins to buy it. That's that's irritating. So we've got we've got one track, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so it's split screen. So it looks like we only have two. I'm intrigued to know if the screen is split screen for us. And that. I guess it will be, right? So you're gonna see. I don't even know who I'm racing. Who am I racing out there? Obviously, couch isn't designed for streaming. That's where multiplayer comes in. This is if you are at home. You want to play with a friend or a family member. Yeah, this is this is the race. So it won't tell me the name of who I'm racing because technically, in theory, you are by my side on the couch in the virtual sense. <laughs> so we both put the same car. I believe I'm the left screen. on this game. Oh, oh, no, that is the track. I thought I just totally went off the track there. Oh, look at that drift. Oh! Sick drift. Oh, he's overdone it. Tight. I like this car. Oh, smooth as you like. Don't hate it at this time. Now it's not a kart race and necessarily Hot Wheels and me. So there is a, there is an element of racing to it that goes beyond hitting each other with uh, power ups. Oh, big drift outside the cones. Will I get penalised? Doesn't matter because this. Sign's gonna slow me down. Who put that sign there? How many laps is this? Three laps. Oh, pull it back around, pull it back around. Oh, nice drift. That drift is smooth. I do appreciate a smooth drift. I love the rally stage on racing games. And one that's in someone's basement office. No difference. Let's get that boost on there. Oh, look at that. Use the boost to get out the drift a little bit. Cheeky little boost there. Oh, the table. Straight into a drift. Knocked a couple of corns down. Whoever invented corns, multi millionaire. Something as simple as an orange corn shaped piece of plastic. Final lap. Oh, under the couch. Move the couch, under the couch. That's what we're doing. So this is split screen with somebody else out there. And he's still got it, ladies and gentlemen. Few weeks off, and I'm back, baby. Uh, so who am I racing? Am I racing Barclay? A third can comment on the race, like a sports commentator. Yes, you can. Oh, bit of fragmentation there. Now, this is being streamed to... A second person, so on Barclay's screen, he's seeing my screen and his screen broadcast from my version of the game, from Luna's servers. So that's some Luna couch action going on there for you all. Now I polished that race off. Um, it is a pretty cool feature on Google. Yeah, you can see uh, exactly what you can see if you join through the couch session. So I guess even if you're not in the race, you are still getting an instance of this game on your screen. So if you're watching along at home and you wanted to watch, I, I guess, without the aid of YouTube, <laughs> on my commentary or Twitch, you could do. Now, there are some features I'm sure we're looking to implement in the future. Things, things you'll be familiar with from cloud gaming. That Stadia promise, so like crowd choice. State share, the ability to share a, a save file from a game. Because we'd love it to have the community more involved. Yeah, if I'm playing a game, uh, one of the big ones I always voted for was the Telltale games. Anything that involves decision making, like the Mass Effect games, putting the vote out to the audience watching along would be a fantastic thing to do. 
There I am, player. My name is player number one. Coming in hot. I love it. Uh, so that's Hot Wheels. That's a quick look at uh, Luna Couch there. Um, that was good. There was some from framey things going on there. Framey things indeed. Uh, let's see what else we got on Luna Couch. So Luna Couch isn't what I thought it was where you were going to necessarily... I don't know why in my mind I thought it was uh, like a link code and you would join as though it was multiplayer. It very much is. Your entire screen, television screen, for lack of a better way of describing it, is just shared with somebody. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, what else do we have on here? Should we look at some? Should we look at some Sonic? Just as we round things up here on the channel, Sonic Mania Plus, great game. If anyone's played the classic Sonics, then love Sonic Mania. I'm actually surprised we haven't had a sequel anytime soon. Now the story behind Sega! Sonic. There's that sound. The story behind Sonic Mania was, of course the Sonic games weren't doing too great and there was a group of mods who basically made better Sonic games and that's what they did they reached out to these people and said hey, you make us a game and they did it they just made them a game and this is what Sonic Mania is uh, so two player someone out there can be the Tales to my Sonic um, start couch session there's a new chord. And that game, that game is very loud, the game audio in there. So yes. Okay, calm down, Sonic Mania. That was very loud, wasn't it? So different games volume apparently adjusts itself accordingly. That is still very loud. Right. Right, where? Right, settings, options, Jesus. Wow. That was... I know the, the music in Sonic games is generally good, but... Blow my ears off with that one. So I don't know if that's some feedback we need to give to the Luna team, that the volume for each game probably needs to be optimized so it doesn't blow people's heads off. All right, anyway. Uh, let's see, we've got Encore mode. Mania mode. So I'll go a random new save. <laughs> So, as I said, with Sonic Mania, it's an ode to the older Sonic games. I saw Hungry Moogle and Barclay jump in with me again there. So let's see how this works. See who gets to be Tails. So you both have to fight over who Tails is in the game. Um, no way of you both being someone Knuckle, someone Tails. Dr. Robotnik up to his old tricks in Chaos Emeralds. Wow, 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 wow. But with this being a love letter to all the Sonic games, we kind of get a good mix of old classic levels like this. Good gold Green Hill Zone. So now, before we get any further, one of you is Tails, right? Or are you following me? Now, I can never really get through these levels without being hit once. Now, either one of you is fantastic at following me or not. No. You're watching it. Now, of course, in the Sonic games of yesteryear, you were able to just take over as Tails at any opportunity. But that doesn't seem to be the case with uh, the couch world we live in right now. Oh no, I almost did it! Damn it. Such good music. This part, very weird. You have that weird 3D effect from the Sonic games. 
So, I guess that's one of the downsides to Luna Couch is that because it is all, it's not only really ran through the game, it's just ran as though it was a, a, a literal couch session, which means because there's no interface ensuring where the player two is, there's kind of no way of monitoring what's connected and what isn't connected. Also, Sonic's shoes in this level. It's like he's running on oil. I've got to catch up to this balloon carrying the, the Chaos Emerald. Almost got there. There we go. We got it. We got it. diddle a That is so loud. That is so loud. All right, I'll get to uh, we'll get to the boss fight and then we'll check it out. No. Oh, watch out! Damn it! I knew that was there. Boss fight's just here. No, I knew that was coming. Oh. Need a ring, need a ring. As long as you got one ring. You're all good. Thank you, Tails. Ah, oh, missed him. Boom. And what I do like about this is, after you finish the act, unlike the old ones, and it would pause to go to uh, go to the next menu. What I like is it just continues on, and the level just continues onto the next bit, and it merges into one big adventure. So that's how it works. But I will pause there. Exit. Uh, yes, happy with that. I've played that level so many times. So. So far, is it encore mode? Is that two player? Or is that just boss fights? One of us should have to hit start before you start the game. I'm guessing someone hit start then. What is encore mode? I've never played encore mode. But once again, Angel Island, no one's with me, although someone else is playing in my stead. <laughs> so congratulations, congratulations. So this is, I guess, the downside to Luna Couch is that it's essentially just two people have control of, of the game. But yeah, not very clear on that one, so... Interesting, so interesting. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, let's, uh, let's back out of this more then. So evidently Couch Corp... Couch Corp, literally, not Couch Corp. Uh, that ran great, though. I like the look of that one. Um, right, while we wind down, let's think. One one more thing to look at. I guess I want to check out a shooter. I guess I want to check out a shooter just to see how that looks. Um, Far Cry Blood Dragon. If you've not played Far Cry, just a quick look. Just to see how shooters function. And if you've not checked out Far Cry Blood Dragon, you're missing out. You're missing out. Okay, I've got it. But of course, our intention here on the channel is we'll probably play Luna a couple of more uh, times. We'll do some streams with it. So if you're out there testing Luna, you've got Luna. Uh, our plan is to uh, keep it in the loop, with, keep it in rotation with all of our other streams. Of course, we do a lot of Xbox Cloud game streaming. Uh, I took a first look this past week on PlayStation as well. And um, with Tachaya that came out uh, running on PlayStation Plus Cloud Gaming. They don't really have a name for it. It just is what it is. Uh, we mul usually do a lot of streams, actually. Myself and Richie completed the first Halo game using the Master Chief Collection recently, entirely through Cloud Gaming. Uh, I know Rob and Richie did Warlong Fall and Dynasty through Cloud. So, yeah, a lot of stuff on the on the channel still focused on Cloud Gaming. Uh, Richie tomorrow is checking out Elden Ring, which I don't think is Cloud. But... It's uh, it's looking good. It's looking everything's looking rosy here on the channel, and we do appreciate you all stopping by. Uh, 
Um, gamepad detected. Yes, I'd like to use my gamepad. Blood Dragon. New game. It doesn't matter. It's just a quick first look. I just want to get a feel for the shooter shooter action. If we even have time to get into it. Let's see. Enemies in range can be shot. Enemies can knock you over. They're dicks like that. <laughs> they gain comedy and Blood Dragon if you've not played it. It's an ode to the 80s. Century. It's also very much Terminator storyline. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Nuclear war has engulfed the planet. Why are some skeletons red and others black? Different heat. Maybe someone had sun cream on. This is so close to Terminator. Didn't, 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 didn't. Active ashes of North America. A new breed of soldier is reborn. Now we're trying to play these just so we get some kind of vein of what we're familiar with playing. So I'm familiar with Sonic, I'm familiar with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Resident Evil, all that kind of jazz. So just so we get a good feel for the, the latency, the picture quality, the controller. Feedback, all of that kind of jazz. The sound. And you know what? Nearing the end of the stream, I think chat, we can safely agree, it works. It works, it works, it works. Of course, you can play it through a Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Stick. You can play it through desktop browser, like I'm doing here. The controller, the Luna controller, just like the Stadia controller, feeds directly up to Amazon Luna's servers. So... All of the are details, the latency is reduced because it's going straight to their end. But it is also used as a Bluetooth controller, so you can use it that way as well. So that's right, I'm playing as Rex Colt, aka the Cyber Commando, voiced by the guy who plays Reese in Terminator 1. So you may have recognized his voice from that classic James Cameron movie. Wakey, wakey, motherfucker! Op says there's a delay in the feed. You need to recalibrate your ass. Me? Well, it ain't me, because I'm goddamn near perfect. Men want to be me? And you want to be with men. Yeah, I got it. That's an A's joke, if I've ever heard one. Brian Patch orders downloaded. Mission parameters. Kind of looks like uh, Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. Enemy operation. Full lethal sanction enabled. Opposition is black sector threat. Repeat, Black Sector Threat. Geneva Convention Restrictions Lifted. Lieutenant, just who the hell are we taking down? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. But Black Sector, that could only mean a handful of outfits. All of them bad news, Spider. So, for those who don't know the gist of this game is, yeah, 80s vibes through and through, lots of neon lights. Uh, you are taking down... A bad guy with laser dinosaurs and everything, classic Far Cry style, but the, the comedy is just wah, on point. Here we go. Let's get some gameplay, Vietnam style. This is the bit, yeah. And this is actually the bit that, yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. Let's check out this corpse. Shoot Okay, so, I'll be honest, a little bit of latency in that, it feels like. Like a jutteriness, again, I don't know if the jutteriness is just from the, the camera on that. There it goes. So we're taking down a cyborg type base. Lots of neon colours. Oh, you know what, it's okay. I said I take that back about the latency. It must have just been the, the juttery start to the game. Lots of neon flying around. Yeah, take that enemy helicopter down, and there it is. Set us down now. So, shooter action seems great. I know it's not the most conventional one. 
Convention. Uh, and yes, sure you do know it's going to be gnarly when the, Geve uh, the Geneva Convention gets lifted. Let's go! He jumped out of the helicopter and then we landed anywhere. Ready to go. That's right, you have shurikens as well. And an awesome... That's right, that's a crotch grab at the end for you there. <laughs> if you enjoy Thor Ragnarok, you'll enjoy this for the same reasons. Use cover to stay behind things. That's how it works. Here we go, All right? Let's check out the proper true first person. Oh, that's an old Duplay logo. Auto holstering weapon for silent approach. Press A to demonstrate your ability to read. Ah, for fuck's sake. Jump, if you wish to jump. Press A, enables you to jump. Spider, I hate you. So you're using your tutorial. To go lower. Crouch, yeah. Just let me kill people. It's damn. actually a perfect tutorial for the latency look because around. it's showcasing everything. To look around, look around. Yeah. This is not cool. Allows you to go in many exciting directions. It does indeed. Why? Look, I can walk. Running is like walking, only faster. Yep. Fuck. There we go. Tutorials getting in the way of your mayhem. Yes. There we go. We'll kill one guy. Beat the crouch. A blade takedown when sneaking up to an enemy. In typical Far Cry style. You've got the stealth kills. Here we go. Oh, right through his chest. Casualty. So, you know what? It looks great. It's there. It works. Use Cyber Eye. There we go. Scan enemies, Far Cry style. There they all are. Uh, you know what? It works great. Did, you, did I kill him? No, I didn't kill him. Got a machine pistol there. Spin around, reload, set myself on fire. Oh, he's behind the box. Yep, all looks good. All looks good. Heal. Hold white heal. Good injection there. A little bit of latency drop off there again. Don't know if it's my internet connection or the platform itself, but overall, perfectly passable. Works fine. And I think, everybody, that brings us to an end of my first full live stream of Amazon Luna. We've checked out a couple of games. Of course, Amazon Luna, uh, available now in the UK, Canada, Germany, and the United States of America. Uh, I have the controller. It's available to buy now. There is a first look unboxing of this very controller up on the channel. We've checked out multiple games across Ubisoft Plus and Amazon Luna Plus channels. Uh, we've, of course, played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We checked out some racing, Hot Wheels Unleashed. Uh, we also jumped into some ukulele and the impossible lair and ended with some Far Cry shoot action here when we checked out the Luna Couch Corp. Uh, it's been very interesting jumping into it. There I am back on the mouse and keyboard seamlessly as that. And uh, let's go back to the main screen just to round things out. Exit game. Yes, exit game. Um, it's good. Good. I'd, I'd give it good. I'd give it a good. Um, but that is my first look at amazon luna thank you to everyone who's tuned in for this particular stream and everyone of course who supports the channel all of our wonderful helix heroes who join us tune in and support us that little bit further uh, you can do so as well from as little as 99p uh, you get early access to some of our shows special stickers and badges and next to your name and used to them in the chat um i've been chris of course don't forget to check out rob richie and myself on our weekly podcast talking to ps and xpass our playstation and xbox respective podcasts and of course if you're new here 
Don't also forget to check out our brand new Lunar Listening podcast. That show will drop in the imminent future. And of course, definitely a big shout out to Amazon Luna for stopping by for the stream. You're all wonderful. If you want to keep the conversation going, we have a very vibrant Discord server. Link is in the description. And uh, you'll be seeing me in the clouds very, very soon. Uh, Before we go, though, I will round out with another exciting look at the Luna Listening Podcast coming to you soon here on Helix Plays Games. See you next time, folks. And remember, play whatever makes you the happiest. Goodbye.